What's up, Miku fans? This is Miku fan 3000 here. Welcome to Q and A with Miku fan. That's right. Once again, it's time to do another Q and A for you, and this is the tenth Q and A for all of you Miku fans out there. And I want to say thank you all so much for all your questions. I got like a lot this time, so I want to answer them as good as I can. So let's get going. <laughs> Okay, everyone, as usual, your questions is on my phone. So the first one is you, Princess Lily. You are like always the first one to give me a question. So thank you so much for being a top fan. And you have asked me three questions like I asked you to. So let's take one at a time. First one, how much often do you listen to Hatsune Miku songs? Don't get me started, Princess Lily. I can listen to Miku songs like every hour, but if I can listen to one song a day, I'll be happy. Without a song of Miku Hatsune every day, I'll be like nothing. I love her music, you know? So, how often do I do it? Like two times a day, I would say, for most parts. If I'm lucky, I can listen to songs of Miku like seven times a day. But, uh, yeah. Don't want to disturb anyone. But uh, I would say one or two songs in a day. That will be very great. So I hope that's good enough. Next question. Okay, second question is this one here from also Princess Lily. If there's an actual Hatsune Miku concert in real life, would you go? Absolutely. If there was a real Hatsune Miku concert in real life, I would absolutely book a ticket because it would be a dream come true to see Hatsune Miku in real life. And I would so like to get an autograph and even stand next to her and get a photo. So yes, I would totally go. So hope that's good enough. Next question. All right, and also, Princess Lily, you asked me about this here. Your question is this. How did you get the Miku doll that we've seen on your videos? And is this one here you mean, right? Yes. For a couple of years ago, I would say maybe seven years. I don't know. It's been a while. But there I saw that this one here was on sale on a Japanese web website. A Japanese website and uh, then I just grabbed a chance and I used a lot of money it was very expensive to get this one here it cost me a little bit over 5,000 crowns I mean crowns that's what we call our money in Denmark so yeah 5,000 crowns a little bit over that plus a little bit extra to get it safe and sound so nothing will happen. But yes, I got this one here in a Japanese website. And it was definitely worth it because I'm so happy for this Miku dream doll. This is actually a dream doll. So yes, I'm very happy for it and I make sure it stays clean. And I also make sure that nothing goes wrong with it. Because these things here, they are very expensive to get. So if you want a dream doll yourself, Princess Lily... You can go to that Japanese website. I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry. But uh, there was a Japanese website where you can order these things here. I don't know. If they're still for sale. It's been a while. But uh, what was that name of that website? If, if I could remember, I could tell you. But uh, sorry. But it was around seven years ago that I bought this. And yes, it's totally worth it. 
And if you would like me to hold this, hold this dream doll of Miku again in my future videos, let me know in the comments. So yeah, that's all I can say for this one. Princess Lily, thank you for your questions. Let's go to the next one. Okay, the next question is this one here. If Miku was real, what would you do? <laughs> yeah, if Miku was real, what would I do? I would scream of joy. I would instantly book lots of tickets to see her. And hopefully I could be the luckiest guy in the world to maybe have a future date with her. I don't know, but uh, that's not going to happen because after all, she's a virtual reality singer. But if that was real, I would be so happy. My heart would flutter with joy. So I hope that's a good answer. That's a lot I can say. So thank you. Next one. Okay. Dear bro, Zero Point CLE, you are next. So you got two questions for me. Let's take this one here. Congratulations on this being your 10th Q&A video, dear bro. A few questions I have. Let's take the first one first. Will you, uh, let's see, will you ever make any merch in dedication to your change in the future? You mean merchandise? Well, merchandise, I never thought about it in real life, but uh, I have seen some of your merchandise and uh, I would say they look pretty good, but I actually have a few samples because these were some shirts that I designed in my first years as a Miku fan. The first one was this one here. I don't know if you can see it. This here was my very first Miku fan t-shirt. Yeah, it's just a photo of her on a shirt, but I think it was pretty cool. Okay, put it over here. And then I had this here, my second design, also just a photo of her on this one here. Yeah, I would say this one here was very good. And I would say maybe this here could be an option. Put it over here as well. And my third option, you actually seen it in my first SMG4 reaction videos. This here was my final choice before I stopped doing shirts. Here you can see this one here, a photo of Miku with my with my channel name on the bottom of her and behind there's also another photo and there it says I'm a true Miku fan yeah this one here was my last design before I stopped doing shirts because it got very expensive and I had to save up for some stuff but yes these shirts here I had three designs but uh, I don't know if I should make them because I don't know if people will like to wear them but uh, if it becomes an option again I might consider doing shirts again but anyway I had considered it before but then I stopped but these shirts there they were like some of my first work before I stopped I actually made like a few of them each but uh, then it got too expensive and had to stop to make ends meet but um, yeah hope that's good enough bro let's go to your second question okay bro your second question is this what is your favorite pc game much love to you dear bro from me frost iris lily marin Lertel, and max okay are those some of the names of the small inklings and also links you have? I don't know, but uh, I know Frost and Max. So thank you. Much love to them as well. But back to your question. PC game. My favorite one. Uh, to be honest, bro, I actually don't like that many PC games. I'm more to PlayStations and Nintendo games. That's like my favorite. 
but I do have a few small favorite games on PC because I have a stream account and uh, no wait a steam account that's that's the one I have a steam account and there I have a few small favorites I have Choo Choo Charles and I have Hunipop and I also have there is no game and I also play Uno, Among Us and Tasty Planet. I have six small games on the Steam. But I would say those are like the best PC games I can play. But my favorite one of those that has to be there is no game. That one is very good. So I hope that's good enough, bro. Thank you for your questions and much love to you as well. Let's go to the next one. My god, how many questions did you leave me? It feels like I just started. Okay, next one is this one. Tony, thank you for your questions. Let's go to your first one. Who was your favorite character from Glitch Production series Sunset Paradise? <laughs> well, we have to be honest here. It has to be Maggie, because after all, she was the main character. Plus with Ari and Pop Pop and the Funky Boys, yeah, those bastards hypnotizing her like that. But I'll say my absolute favorite one, that that is Maggie. Maggie sees the best in this one because after all, it was her animated series, it was her cartoon. So I would say that's that's my favorite with Maggie. Hope that's good enough, Tony. Let's go to the next one. Okay, Tony, your second question is this one. Do you have a favorite type of cheesecake? If so, what is your favorite type of cheesecake? Uh, Tony, I would say this. I like cake, but I don't eat cheesecake. I don't like cheesecake that very much. I mean, last time when I tried a cheesecake, I mean, I tried three different types and each one almost made me gag. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of cheesecakes, but I do eat carrot cake. And I also eat birthday cakes and other kinds of nice cakes, but cheesecake, no. I don't like cheesecake that very much, but I like strawberry pie as well. But, once again, I don't eat cheesecake. So, sorry about that, Tony. I hope that's good enough. Let's go to the next question, please. Alright, Captain Alex Stars 94 it's your turn now, bro. So, danke for your questions. <laughs> yeah, I can't speak German that, that very well, so I'll just say danke schön. All right, let's go to your first question. If Miku Hatsune appeared in an SMG4 show, can it do more in the future? My answer is this, my friend. I hope so, because when they added Miku in that episode where Bookins had that special date and SMG3 was like trying to ruin it all by being cool, you just have to be yourself. And that saved Bookings' date and the end when he was himself. But I would say, I hope she will have more appearances. And uh, if she had a full episode in SMG4, that would be a dream come true. So yeah, I hope she will appear more. So don't lose hope. Okay, next question. <laughs> Okay, second question is also from you, Captain Alex Star 94 You asked me this here. Have you ever tried Mentos a Cola Fountain experiment? I have. If you haven't noticed, my dear friend, also bro, I would say go to my playlist and there you can find my 1000 Miku fan special. There I tried it, also with hot sauce. So, yes, I have tried it. So if you want to see me perform the Koga Mentos experiment, go to that video and you will see the whole thing. So, 
all I can say. Well, I hope that was a good answer. And if you can't find it, just uh, text to me and I can send you the link. Hope that's good enough. Next question. Okay, your third and final question, Captain Alex Star 94, is this. What is your favorite catchphrase by far? Catchphrase? Uh, catchphrase? Is it like a slogan? I mean, I don't know that word very well, but uh, I know my slogan is Believe in me, Gohatsune. Every time I say that, I feel like I can do much more for the channel and also much more for you Miku fans out there. But uh, a catchphrase. I have maybe a few, but uh, I don't know what it means to be honest. So I'm very sorry about that. Maybe I should search it. I will do that later. But uh, anyway, Captain X Star 94. Aye aye, sir. Thank you for your questions. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Okay, the next question is this one here. What are your thoughts on the Sonic the Hedgehog series? They're awesome. I like that series a lot. Especially when Sonic always defeats Dr. Eggman. And I have played a few games of Sonic the Hedgehog in my old days. And I still do to this day. The games are still very classic and I love them a lot. But that Sonic the Hedgehog game with uh, the Xbox 360, no, I'm staying away from that one. It's not like my favorite. But um, I was saying my thoughts about that. That's very great. Next question. Okay, the next question is this one. Who do you consider the best villain in SMG4? The best villain. Hmm. Well, I would say there's a lot of villains in SMG4 history, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, we had Niles, we had Francis, we have Lawyer Kong, and we had the Demon Axel one. Yeah, that's also <clears throat> SMG0 with Niles taking control over that. And we even had, let's see, Waluigi as well. But uh, I would say the biggest villain of my opinion so far. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had a little something in my throat. But I would say that has to be One Shot Ren. Yeah, you know that guy, don't you? I mean, after what he did to Maggie, the one who looked up to him and he was taking all his frustrations and anger and all his jealousy of losing out on her, that's not very nice. So I would say, one shot Ren, he is the most biggest villain. So there's nothing that tops that right now. So I would say one shot Ren, he gets absolute gold on being a villain. And then I would say Francis. And then I will also say, then we have Niles, because of what he did to Melanie. So, yeah, I would say those three, they're like my top three of best villains so far. The others I can like handle it, but those three, they're all crazy. So yeah, hope that's good enough. Thank you for your questions. Let's go to the next one. Okay, everyone, my dear Miku fans of mine, this here is the final question I'm going to answer for you. So thank you all for your questions. I really appreciate it. So let's answer this one here. If you had to watch an old episode from SMG4 and bring a character out, who will it be? Okay. Well, we have seen it and old couple of episodes but if I have to say an old character and bring them back I will have to say we should bring out Baldi a little bit more because he's still like a funny guy and even though he still do this with the ruler smacking all the time you know 
Yeah, he's ready to spank your ass when you get a question wrong. But I would say, I hope it will be Baldy because I think he could deserve a place in this series. So, that's my honest answer. I hope that's good enough. And yes, Migo fans, that was it. All those questions. Thank you all so much. You really gave me a lot of questions this time. And it means a lot to see that you really support me and all this here with the channel and becoming a Mika fan. It really warms my heart that there's a lot of Mika fans out there like me. So everyone, big thank you to you. And I'll continue to do videos for you in the future. And also, if you have other requests for me, just not just SMG4, if you have other videos you would like me to watch in the future, you can always leave your request in the comments below and I will do them as soon as I can. I won't forget you. I always remember your request. But if it's something I already have seen, I might take some time. But anyway, thank you all for your questions. I really appreciate your support. And yeah, that's all I can say. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button today to become a Mika fan. And I'll see you next time in my next video. So, bye bye Mika fans. Stay tuned for more. And as always, believe in Mika Hatsune and have a good night. <laughs>